All right, welcome back to Open Line. I'm here with uh, Professor Thomas Swartz from Vanderbilt University, a history and political science professor. We've been talking about the latest with Iran. Great questions. Thank you for calling in. I just want to take these last few minutes to talk about what's happening with the impeachment. Mm -hmm. It, too, is ever-changing day by day. Uh, I'm sure you well know Nancy Pelosi said sh today that she will be sending over the articles of impeachment soon soon is the new word mm -hmm. over to the Senate um, don't know what that exactly means but right. they're headed that way uh, what do you expect from the Senate witnesses no witnesses how do you believe this will play out there well I think I think uh, Senator McConnell will basically say we're going to follow the same pattern as the uh, impeachment of President Clinton we're going to not have call witnesses um, we will evaluate the evidence from the house um, there will be uh, the house managers and that will present the case uh, but I don't think they're going to call anyone um, additional. Uh, the evidence is there, and then he will call for a vote. It should, it probably will be relatively quick and um, over, um, it, unless the only thing would be something dramatic to happen. Now, Bolton's a willingness to testify mm -hmm. certainly did shake things up for a moment, but from the way McConnell sounds in his discussions, especially recently when he said he wasn't going to make any concessions to Pelosi on the method, it sounds as though he does have his Republicans in line and that therefore he should be able to sort of bring the trial along the way he wants and it would be over quickly and, and move ahead. The only thing, the only problem is going to be for some, uh, there will be a problem for a couple of the senators, Sanders um, and uh, Warren, um, with the trial coming because they won't be able to be in Iowa or New sure. Hampshire. Um, so that, that could be a, a little bit of a, a complication for some of the presidential candidates. But the trial won't last very long. No. What are the similarities you see beyond maybe how it will play out uh, with the rules mm -hmm. uh, between what happened with President Clinton and what is now happening with President Trump? Um, both had intensely partisan elements to them, um, more so even than the Nixon and mm. earlier even the Andrew Johnson impeachment, um, although partisanship is always a part of this. Um, and Clinton's did involve a different set of arguments about private behavior and how that affects uh, things. And mm -hmm. what's similar, of course, is that both are occurring at times of good economic um, times. Uh, People forget that one of the reasons Nixon's uh, popularity caved is the economic crises during that period that were really affecting mm -hmm. Americans. Um, in the Clinton and Trump cases, you've got strong economic times. Um, the difference, Trump's issues do have to do with foreign policy behavior and uh, patterns there than that, that did Clinton's. Um, I, I think I, I think they're probably going to simply uh, head out on the same banner. They're going to end up being partisan. Um, it is interesting that Trump's is in his first term. Right. Um, so one of the arguments that could not be used with Clinton or with Nixon earlier was the idea that, well, you, you have a chance to vote on this. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things that's going to certainly come up as well. He could be thrown out in November. We don't have to do it now. And of course, it leaves open the possibility that President Trump might face impeachment in his second term where he win or lack election, although uh, we'll leave that to the side <laughs> for the time being. Uh, now that really makes my head spin. <laughs> yeah, there could be a lot there, but it, it, it is... Uh, but when you talk about the election, I mean, certainly mm -hmm. this will be brought up at every chance by the Democrats, Absolutely. Yeah. whatever happens right. within the Senate. Yeah. Um, beyond that, what effect do you think it could actually have on the election? Let's just say, you know, the Senate does what we think the Senate will do when it comes to this, then what? Well, I don't think it'll have a dramatic effect on the election because I think the, the, the issue has been so uh, politicized. Mm -hmm. um, Ukraine is not an issue of great concern to most Americans, so it doesn't involve questions that really energize a large number of Americans. I think people, uh, if you like President Trump, you're going to vote for him. If you don't, uh, I don't think the impeachment thing will turn it against them. Um, uh, it, it is possible, but I really doubt it. As President Trump continues on with his campaign, how does he switch, I guess, how does he benefit most from what's happening with foreign policy right now, with Iran, from mm -hmm. the impeachment? How does he turn the spotlight to benefit himself the most? The, the commander-in-chief role 
is a powerful one. Um, the idea that you're protecting Americans, projecting strength. Um, in many of our presidential elections, the sense that the president was in command mm -hmm. and in, in running foreign policy was an important element in their victory. I, I do think of Nixon in 72. I think of Ronald Reagan in 1984. I think that the, this can be an important part of a president's political appeal. Trump is a little bit it's a little uncertain because in, in He's the unpredictable. 20, yeah, yeah, in the 2016 election, um, Hillary Clinton tried to make the idea that Trump was erratic and might get us into a war as one of the issues against him. Um, the fact that it hasn't happened doesn't mean that something like Iran might encourage some mm -hmm. to think, well, he's so erratic, it could happen. Um, the Democrats will have to be careful not to uh, appear to be uh, undermining the United States diplomatically in their attacks on, on Trump's foreign policy. They've had to walk a line here about this particular mm -hmm. attack of not seeming too sympathetic to Soleimani right. or to the Iranians um, at the same time questioning the strike. So it, it could have an effect. But the commander-in-chief role of an incumbent president is a very powerful one and could help Trump if he, if he handles it well, but that, that is the question. Yeah. All right, we're going to leave it there for right now. We will wrap things up when we come back. Stay with us.